exact spot as I put the bones, right? So to do this, okay, I'm going to create a curve. A curve. So I'm going to go create CV curve tool. Now, very, very important. In Maya 2011, they added the Bezier curve. Do not create this with the Bezier curve. The dynamic curve does not like it. So, stick to the default Maya uh, curve. Maybe in Maya 2012 they'll fix this, but you know, until then. Okay. So now I go s back to my side view, and I press V. Okay, so I have snap to point, you know, and press enter. Now I could go back, yeah, isolate my selection there, and move the curve just slightly so it's running in exactly in the center of the of the chain because that's what I want. Now I isolated the bones because basically I want to very easily select my uh, curve because otherwise uh, the hierarchy of selection in Maya will select bones before anything else so usually you could change it but the easiest way is just to go to the isolate selection up here and basically now I can't select um, the bones anymore all right, so now that I've select, uh, selected the curve and fixed it and built it and everything, now what I want to do is convert it into a dynamic curve. The way that I, the way to do this, is we go over to the dynamics menu, and once everything's changed up here, we go to the hair menu, scroll all the way down to we see uh, make selection curve dynamic. All right, so now if if you take a look, you can see that we have um, this whole s hair system going on here. And if I open up all of this stuff, you can see the curve and everything that's going on. All right, so now if I press play, all right, you can see there's this blue curve, and above it is the original curve. Okay. So if I open it, now that I press play once, you could basically see um, the both curves. You could see um, you could see the dynamic curve and you could see the original curve. Now you cannot delete this curve because if you do delete this curve, you're going to mess up the the entire uh, system and uh, you cannot do that. So what we're going to do next is basically hide it by pressing control H once we have it and we're just gonna leave the blue curve the light blue curve now I need a few more frames so I'm gonna add about a thousand frames and now what I want to do is take this dynamic curve and have it control uh, these bones so the way to do that is go back to my animation menu by using the animation tab, going to skeleton and back to my IK spine handle tool and we'll go into its options. Alright, so it's gonna open the options over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove two uh options here. I'm gonna remove create a auto create curve. All right, so basically it's going to turn everything off here. So the minute I did that, it's going to now when I'm going to try to create a a IK spine, it's going to need a curve and we have a curve. So let's see it working. So if you look at the bottom at the bottom uh left-hand side, you have tooltips, okay? So the tooltip says a uh, IK spine handle tool. Left mouse button pick uh, start joint handle okay so first joint then it asks for the end joint and then for the curve the curve there we go uh, objects okay same name okay so I didn't do it properly because I there we go alright so now if I press play you can see there's some movement 
a very slight movement. Uh, the reason this very slight movement is um, because of the d dynamic curve. So basically now that we connected everything we have to tell the dynamic curve to start acting out the way we want it to act out. And at the moment what's happening is if I press play you can see it's it's stuck, right? And the reason is is the dynamic curve and its default settings is pinned in both ends. So to turn that off, I'm going to press Control A while I have the dynamic curve selected, and I'll go to the follicle shape. Okay, follicle shape. In the follicle shape, I got you know um, in the follicle attributes. There's all kind of dynamic uh, things here, but the most important is pink, pick lock, okay? And we want base. What the base will do is we'll release it. All right. Now it's all very nice, but the main problem that we having now is that it's still very stiff. So to turn off the stiffness or to decide what kind of stiffness we want. We go override dynamics over here in the dynamics overrides. And once we turn it on, we could play around with the stiffness. Uh, I'm going to dial it down quite a bit, and you'll see that we have this nice sloping um, tail. Maybe not, you know, maybe it's not stiff enough. We could bring up the stiffness. Maybe give it some more dumping. Maybe give it a little more flexibility. I could even draw out. That some areas will be more stiff than others. You know, have like the end, you know, like really relax, and the beginning, not so. And you can play around with this, and there's a whole tutorial in Digital Tutors and and Linda and so on. But this is the base basics. So, um, okay, so basically we are done building the rig. Now we have to st start connecting everything up, all right? Putting everything under the the right controller. You see, because we got our controller, and I needed to control stuff. So remember that curve that we um, that we had that's controlling the whole thing. Well, I'm just going to take the entire follicle system and I'm going to throw it underneath the main curve. And if I go to my hair system tab up here and press uh, play and I start moving, if you notice, it's now moving properly. See? So once I put all the hair follicle system underneath the control curve, see I could mess around with it. All right, so now I'm done with that. Let's stop. Uh, can zero everything out. Oh, I guess who forgot to do something? But all right, that looks fine to me. What I'll do is I just play play once and back, and we'll go back to its original state. All right, so what I'm left with. Is basically a bit of a mess. Okay, um, I group all of this stuff together. Control G, and now Control G again. So, GRP for group. All right, tail zero one. All right, then we got a control group, and then we got. Uh, bound BN. No, let's just call it um, hidden. Hidden and GRP. All right, so I have like a group that has everything on it in it, which usually I'll probably throw it in to the main uh, main rig that I have 
and then I have the um, control curve which will control the whole thing and will allow me to move the entire thing to wherever I want and once I press play see it will react and if I animate it all right let's press s all right move it forward and you know give it like 200 uh 200 frames so it's going to move fairly slowly but you can see uh actually you know what it's too slow let's Alright, so see, a very simple, very easy rig to do if you just take your time, play around with it. Um, it's very useful to create ragdolls and ponytails and I don't know whatever you want, tentacles, beards, whatever, um, and that's it.